for relaxing time. It's Yellowstone time. That's actually a joke. Hopefully you guys have seen Lost in Translation uh, with Bill Murray. It's a reference to his little Suntory whiskey, Japanese whiskey uh, commercial he was filming. It's a funny movie. I didn't get it when I was a little younger. I think I first saw it in my 20s, didn't totally really get it. And then I saw it again in my 30s, just some years ago. I think I finally rewatched it, and the movie made a lot more sense. So recommend uh, Lost in Translation. Anyway, I was just uh, was chatting with a couple of my friend, internet friends online here on my iPad. Uh, I'll introduce you to them, Eric and Ramiro. Uh, their channels are Photo, Photos y Mas and uh, Eric Jennings. I'll put a couple links to their channels in the description of this. But this video, uh, I mean, I'm drinking pretty buzz at this point, unlike, not too unlike my video when I came back from my hiatus on YouTube, but I'm also filming this in F-Log, so, but I'm also filming this in F-Log, so in my little gas attack, my, my mental gymnastics, uh, I'm like, you know, this last video I did with the, the, I'm doing the face detection again, it seems to be what works best, at least for the X-H1 with this 50 millimeter F2. Uh, it seems like it works pretty well. I have the speed still at negative four, which is where I landed last time, and which is slightly faster than negative five. And then uh, tracking, I've just left at uh, plus four this whole time, locked on, as Fuji calls it. Hopefully, this is this is in focus. We'll see. <clears throat> and hopefully, the audio is not ridiculous. Probably talking a little bit more ridiculous because I'm. I would say pretty well buzzed at this point. But uh, this video is just kind of a, a little bit random, but uh, I said it's F-Log, so <clears throat> I'd never shot F-Log before. Most of my videos had always been a turn-on, as I mentioned, I think in my last video. Though the last video I recorded in Classic Chroma changed it up, and then I didn't regret it, because it was you know a learning experience seeing something different. But it it was just way too much contrast. The the blacks were just completely crushed. It kind of reminded me of uh, old school. Hopefully doing that didn't just completely lose focus because this X-H1 can't keep focus on a face uh, unless you literally don't move. It's pretty pathetic. I'm still kind of gassy for that X-H or X-T2, X-T4. I wish the X-H2 would come out and then I'd just, I'd just buy it. Assuming, you know, Fuji improves it. But uh, I still don't have confidence. I, the, whatever the stupid summit they had, I watched that video. It was just typical corporate nonsense. I don't know why I stick with Fujifilm, honestly. Fujifilm seems like they've completely lost their focus on photography. And, like, it's just nonsense. I don't want to go to Sony because they never had soul. They're evil and... They're literally a PlayStation of cameras. They don't, they don't know how to make. Like they're not a photography company. Yes, their autofocus is better than everybody. I think their autofocus is better than even Canon. I'll give them that because they understand technology. Just like a company who makes the PlayStation Five, obviously understands technology. So yes, the tech is better with Sony, and I think their AF is the the lead. I don't even think the newest Canon R3 is up. There. Obviously, the Z9 is not even there. That's a whole separate topic. But uh, I think Sony with the A1 and A7 definitely have the best autofocus, smartest autofocus. Maybe the Z9 is in like a close second place. But like that's the best Nikon's done. And none of the other Nikon products uh, have that ability. And they won't because they have different processors. So it's only until the next generation of Z6 and Z7 come out that they'll even get close. Meanwhile, Canon will do the R1 or whatever comes after the R3. And Sony will then beat them all. So Sony's always at the top of the autofocus. But uh, Fuji still, for whatever reason, irrational reasons, keeps me interested in them with their colors. Like, I don't know. 
Probably because I maybe I drink too much, and that's why I shoot Fuji. Cheers. Hopefully, I finally got the audio sorted out, though. It seems like this. Uh, I think I'm at. Uh, I changed the. By the way, the gain on my XH1 to. What was I at? I was at negative 15 dB on the camera, I think, and I'm at negative 12 now. I'll have to play with it, but I may. I'm looking at my meter on the receiver over there because I can kind of see it with my glasses, but I would say my vision is a little bit fuzzy after this is my fourth old fashioned. But I'm almost want, I'm curious if I change the, the Rode Wireless Pro to Wireless Go 2 receiver to zero so there's no attenuation and then back the, the Fuji XH1 off even more. Maybe that's superior. Or like the mics at full power, and then I just cut back the the gain in the Fuji. I don't know, but this sounds pretty good. Where the Rode's at negative twelve dB attenuation, and then the XH1 is at uh, I think it's also negative twelve, or is negative fifteen, and then it used to be negative eighteen. I have the I'll, I'll put uh, I'll put a text in the video. And by the way, I'm now finally using LumaFusion. So no more of that nonsense BS with iMovie. LumaFusion's pretty amazing. I uh, down. I would want. I've been wanting it for like a year, and had just. I guess I held off because I wasn't like making any videos other than like editing. You know, simple home video, like uh, family vacation videos. Like we went to Disney World and stuff like that. Which iMovie, I guess, worked fine, but I'm suspicious that iMovie compressed the hell out of the video because it makes the files way smaller. So I may actually re-re-edit those videos in LumaFusion and see if the detail is better. And if that's the case, <clears throat> I need to re-upload them to my personal YouTube channel uh, with a you know a LumaFusion version versus the iMovie and then delete the old one. But... Uh, where was I going with this? So yeah, LumaFusion, uh, F-Log. I want to go, uh, this is a three-day weekend for me with the uh, with Martin Luther King holiday on Monday. Uh, it's tough with the winter, you know, and I'm in uh, California, but there's still, like, by the time I'm done working, it's dark. So getting any footage during the week is other than, like, low light, and then I'm not, <clears throat> not motivated to go out. So it's only like, you know, around the house if I do anything. So it's just, it's nothing. So I don't do anything. Uh, this weekend I'm hoping to try to get out, film some footage during the day in the sunlight, in F-Log, and maybe even some night clips. I found a site that offers uh, some free LUTs, and I was messing around with them with just some crappy little video clips I made in my house. But I would like to play with those LUTs in... With, with a sorry with a good clip and then see about that uh, this is kind of a, I guess a taste of grading I need to mess around with LumaFusion more as far as learning how the you can actually like manually grade per se but for now I'm gonna start with just some LUTs and uh, see what what kind of looks I can get out of F-Log I'm kind of curious some of them are kind of interesting. A little overdone. Some of these LUTs I got for free. It was a five pack, and then I found one other one. And then even Fuji offers one that kind of converts it to a Turna. But you know me, I don't shoot raw, so I would just shoot a Turna if I'm gonna, if I want a Turna. I'm just gonna shoot a Turna. <clears throat> I'm not really keen on how much the F log on this XH1 offers over just like shooting a Turna. Maybe it's like a little bit more dynamic range, but it's still eight bit four two zero. So as much as I'm not like a, uh, a video expert, I just question how much extra dynamic range it may have. <clears throat> then again, I mean, with these videos, I'm just filming in a room at night with a kind of like a key light. So uh, I don't think they're really demanding. But uh, I want to experiment, I guess, a little bit more. I'm hoping if the focus was like, you know, I know it's not perfect. It does hunt a little bit. But if this was pretty good focus, I think maybe I'll be comfortable keeping... And staying with the XH1 a little longer, I'm honestly held off from buying the XH or XT4 
because I want this, if I'm going to buy it at the $200. So I'd only buy it because it's a $200 off and I want a new camera that's Fujifilm. And I don't think the X-H2 is coming in 2022. I think by the time they ship it, it'll be 2023 because Fuji sucks lately. But so with that lens, uh, I'm looking at it because it's $200 off and I would never buy any Fuji product full price. I don't think I've ever done that. It's always discounted. Uh, so I'm interested in the X-T, X-T4 because it's their best product and it's $200 off and it's actually shipping. But I want the silver one. I have all my other cameras from Fuji have always been black, other than the X, I guess, the X100S, because they only made it in silver back then. Uh, I think the black one came later. I want the silver X-T4. It looks better. I just think it looks cool. I don't plan to get the grip, which is all black, so it wouldn't conflict. And it's just different looking. I don't think I'll sell the X-H1. And yeah, I want the silver one. It's not shipping because Fuji can't ship anything. So it's back ordered. So I'm waiting if BNH can get it in stock again, or Best Buy or somebody, and they can ship it to me before the sale ends. Then maybe I'll buy the XT4. But until then, I'm gonna stick with this guy, uh, assuming the video is good. If this video turns out to be a focus failure and the face detection sucks now, maybe somehow the face detection sucks in F-Log. I don't know. Uh, then I'll probably be like more keen on buying the X-T4 because as much as I like the X-T- X-H1 and it works great when I'm behind the camera, it's seemingly when I'm in front of the camera, oop, sorry about that, it's uh, less good. And this is a little closer, so hopefully the audio isn't crazy loud. Uh, I'll find out when I edit this in LumaFusion, but I think the last time I had the mic about here, so it's a little bit closer. But it hasn't cut out yet, and I guarantee this has been more than 10 minutes because I'm rambling and I'm really buzzed. So uh, that's good. At least the X-H1's tally light's still flashing at me, so I know it's still filming. Uh, anyway, uh, enjoy your guys' three-day weekend if you have one. If it's just a normal weekend, enjoy it. If you work over the weekend, sorry. Appreciate you working. Uh, I don't understand why so many people are not working and why people think quitting their job and not working is a thing, because you're supposed to work, but I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. 2021 was crazy, and it seems like 2022 is the same thing. I don't know, but uh, for a relaxing time, make it a Suntory time.